Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Figment Dira. Today, today, I know that I have a few trees. I have some figs that are ripening on them, but we've already done the taste test on these guys. The one I really have been looking forward to, as I have mentioned many a times, is my I-258. This little beauty, I have been waiting for it to ripen for a while. And you know, it's, uh, it's a tree that um, it, it, it's tortured me a little bit because if you look here, I have a dried up fig and then right next to it, if I can show you, there's a fig that looks beautiful. Then over here, you see that? You got this beautiful looking fig and then you look right over here and this one dried up. Now, as always, I take responsibility and I'm gonna blame it on over and under watering as I've always done. But it's kind of interesting how some of them have shriveled up, some of them have not. But I'm lucky enough to have one that has just been ripening like crazy. And this is going to be my first time trying an I-258. And look at this puppy. Look at this thing. It's a little beauty. Small eye. And without too much of me making a huge deal of this, which I think it truly is. Uh, let's try this. Now, this is an I-258. It's a berry-flavored fig. I, in previous videos, I've said it was a honey fig. I apologize about that. But this is truly a berry-flavored fig. And uh, let's uh, cut it open and see how it looks inside. And then we'll see how it tastes. And as always, I always make a mess of these, which is just fine. Look how it looks inside. Look at this thing. It's a little beauty. And you can see all the syrup. It's just a gorgeous looking thing. And I am just dying to try this. My mouth is just watering. You guys, this is truly out of this world. It's not overly sweet, yet, again, it's one of those figs, I always say, when you ask people, how does an I-258 smile, it's like taste, they smile at you and say, it, it's just something you have to try. And this, folks, is truly something unique. It's got that syrupy taste. It's got a berry, hint of berry in it. And again, it's a taste that is completely unique from other figs. Uh, I'm gonna highly recommend this. And as you can tell, I managed to ripen one in a container. I've never tried this fig in ground. I've seen it in ground. It does a great job, but truly spectacular fig. And, and I would highly recommend it. And um, it didn't take much work. I just gave it the same fertilizer as everybody else and gave it the same things that every other tree I have given. And it's done an amazing job. If you can, folks, make sure you grab an I-258 Fig Tree. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.